Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me. My name is Prophetess Monica. Some of you call me PM and you're watching my YouTube channel, Prophetess Monica Official. Welcome on board. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And remember to subscribe. And today I have a, an exciting topic or um, a very touchy emotional topic that I'm about to share with us. And here is where you get to learn about relationships, cooking, inspirational messages. So here we got mixture of everything. Welcome. Today we are talking about when a woman is about to cheat, the things that she does. Mm -hmm. The things that a woman will start doing when she is about to cheat on you, my brother. <laughs> and don't get me wrongly. Uh, and uh, don't, don't like, uh, you know, say, I saw my woman with these things that you're talking about, and I think she's cheating on me. You got to do your homework very well. But possibility is that she is cheating, or she is about to. If she has not started, she's about to. And she will do it. So, are you even ready? Are you even ready? I'll come with another video. The things that a man will do when he's about to cheat or when he's cheating. Although for men, I think they are open in public domain. I don't know why. I think it's simply because he's a man. But for women, it's very rare. Because when a woman is cheating, she has decided to cheat. Hey, it's a journey. You know men, they cheat even when they don't want. Men will cheat even when they, they had not planned, not when they don't want. Everybody cheat when they want. But they will cheat like when they were not even ready. They, something just came up and they did it. They find themselves in there. But for a woman to cheat is a journey, a very, a very intensive journey because a woman will not just wake up and cheat. They start slowly slowly so my brother you need to see and to look out for these signs that i'm about to share with they are not all but that i'm about to share with you and number one number one when this woman constantly continuously mention the name of this other man the name of this other guy the person causing problems in your relationship She's like, hey, we was with so-and-so, so-and-so said hi, so-and-so called me, so-and-so. Like, it becomes uncomfortable. It's okay, someone can mention someone, but this one is becoming too much uncomfortable. And, you know, there is a person that you're talking about. You as a man, you have raised issues that I don't like this guy. I don't want to see with this guy. I don't like the way he handles you. I don't like the way you talk with, his, with him. And then... The name of this man is in the mouth of your girlfriend, the mouth of your wife, the mouth of your woman. That means he's in her mind because he's in, this man is in her heart. Is it not the Bible that says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh <laughs> what you carry, what you have in you, the mouth will speak it out. So you find this woman mentioning and mentioning and mentioning and mentioning and talking about and talking about, be careful. If she's not cheating, she is about to cheat. Okay, another one. Unexplainable, you know, time when she's not available. She cannot account. For example, you called her, you texted her, she never answered your call, she never answered your text she was unavailable for one hour or two hours or three hours or for a period of time and she cannot account where she was what she was doing with who she cannot account she just you know cannot tell that two hours when she, you could not reach her where she was with who she just brings out maybe excuses cover-ups here and there she cannot really explain and tell you you know what i went and this and this happened 
she will just lie maybe she will lie that the phone was not fully charged and you saw it charged it was charged but she will come up with some some reasons that are not making sense why she was unavailable so when you see this my brother happening time and time and time or you know daily basis or maybe every two days or in a week you must argue about this so know that it is, it is about to go down either it has already gone down or is about to go down so if the woman will not explain why she was unavailable she's about to or she has started okay when you can not call around certain people for example let's call this guy um, which name do we give the guy let's give the guy uh, X she's with this guy X and she has been telling you we are doing business we are having a meeting with a guy and we are doing meeting with a business to run together we are doing ABCD but when you call her with this person she don't answer or she cut you off I will call you back sometimes she goes to an extent and tell you you know I'm with X and he doesn't you know take it so lightly when you call me every time I'll call you back I'll call you back like even she she can tell you she's with a guy and she's not able to talk or she might not tell you but she will not pick your call she will pick when they have parted ways completely like they are done and the guy is not around why because this guy is protecting something this guy this girl not the other guy this girl is protecting something this woman wants to make this other guy feel comfortable because when you call and she picks and you start telling her my girlfriend i miss you so very much and she say i miss you too i love you too the guy will be uncomfortable so she has to hang up or she will not pick it up because she is already doing it or she's planning to ah she is planning to cheat she's planning to do it or she's already doing it like you cannot call her even if you text her she cannot answer and she don't want you to know where they are she may tell you we have a meeting but she will not give you details because she will not think of you coming there the thought of you coming there so if men let me tell you if your woman is not comfortable answering your calls around this guy that is making chaos in your marriage or your relationship know that something wrong is happening or is about to happen all right when she start using the other person's items for example she come home with his car she comes home with his hood she comes home with his umbrella it was raining babe and you know he's a gentleman he decided to give me that hood that umbrella you know he told me that i can road test this car because he is buying it why why i believe he has brother sister friends i believe he has other people who can do that for him why you you know i told him that i'll be uh, traveling and i don't have a car and you know he gave me yeah sometimes he can say it's okay it's okay but when it becomes a habit hmm? For example, let's say maybe when you came to this life of this woman, maybe she had those items from this guy. He calls bestie, he calls friend. She had these things. Yes. That is before. You can understand. But now you're in the picture as the man, husband or boyfriend of this guy. And then she comes home with items that belongs to the other guy and this guy is the one that you are arguing about. my brother either she's cheating or planning to cheat and women i told you they don't cheat overnight they don't wake up and start cheating they calculate it well they can take even a man thinking about it and they step they start with baby steps very small steps if you don't tame them at the right time things will blow out in a position you are not able to rectify them and let me tell you if this woman you are talking complaining about the same guy 
the same same guy over and over and over again. She don't deserve you. She don't love you. She will cheat on you. She will leave you. If you're complaining about this guy for a whole month, two months, three months, four months, and this girl seems to cling over this man. This girl is not ready to let him go. She's not ready to sacrifice this other relationship. And this is another point. If she's not ready to sacrifice this other relationship over yours, men know that it is over. He may end He may end If she's not ready, she's telling you, you know, you found me with uh, Mr. X. You found him in my life. He has been my friend. We went to the same school. We have been friends for over 10 years now, for over 20 years. He has been my friend. He's my best friend. He's the friend that I run to. I tell him when I'm down, when I'm low, la 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 Me, I cannot let him go. My friend, release this woman. If she's not ready to let go. When we decide to get married or to get a dating that will lead us to get married, there's a lot of sacrifices involved, a lot of sacrifices, adjustment, a lot of adjustment that needs to be done. Girl, I know you have boyfriends you went to school with, college with, they're your friends. And you're not told to leave them and to dump them, but you're told to keep boundaries because you have found a man of your life. If it has to dump them and let them go forever, yes, do it for the sake of your marriage and relationship. If a woman is not ready to let it go, even you tell her you have to choose between, and she will tell you on the face, I choose him because we have been friends for 15 years, 20 years, you just came the other day. You cannot, you know, tell me around what I should do and what I should not do. Girl, if you are like that, you are about to cheat with this man. I know he's your best, he's your friend you went to school with. But if he comes first, that your husband or your boyfriend comes second, probability of cheating is 99.9%. Yes. So, when she will not sacrifice the relationship over yours, know that you are doomed. My brother, you are doomed. It's better you let her go, give her freedom, release her, and you know, move on and look for another woman. I am telling you for free because I don't see why this woman won't let this relationship go unless they are benefiting something special than what you give her. Unless this man is so special than you. Okay, are we together? Men, clap for me. Come on, our chanua. Girls, please learn. You may be very innocent. Let me tell you. You may be very innocent for real, you have nothing with this man. But this man is observing what you are doing to the other man. And they're like, I'm that special to this woman? I'm that special? Yeah, I'm telling you. You may be very innocent wearing that hood, carrying, carrying, coming with his car home. But I'm telling you, eventually, things will turn around. Things will turn against. I'm telling you, it's nature. It's about to happen it's a it's 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 meant to happen so if this girl cannot give her you know reasons why she was off she was not answering you reason why she hung it up around this man know that he may end up and know what to do my brother okay and when this lady is using deception excuses like you ask her where why you, what happened? I was looking for you for three hours, I couldn't find you. And she will give you explanation that is not adding up. She will lie, lie to you. She will even lie that he has, she has not met the guy. And they were with her the whole afternoon, deception. She will tell you how much you mean to her. She loves you so much. You are her heartbeat. She will never leave you, but at the same time, She's texting, calling, hanging around with the other man. She's using deception, manipulation. You know women can be manipulating. I'm a woman and I know women can be manipulating. She can give you all you need, tell you sweet things, call you these names and all that. But if she's still 
clinging there, holding on, and no accountability, no reasons that are reasonable. You know there are those reasons a person will give and you feel, ah, this one is justifiable, it's okay. But this one that she's talking about, it's all about lies and lies and lies and lies and lies. Bro, Imenda. <laughs> I am telling you for free. So, watch out these signs. And I tell you, if you detect these signs, among many more that I've not mentioned here, please, please, you got to do something. You either work on this relationship or you either break it. You know, you let go. You forgive. Move on. And look for someone worth your love. You cannot be with someone that is not worth your love. You love, you love them so much, but all they do is to hurt you, is to, you know, manipulate you, to do things their way. You try to talk about it. No solving of this issue. It is not solvable. She becomes so defensive. She even defends this guy. Don't talk bad about Mr. X. Don't, you know, he was my schoolmate. You know, we went to college together. So what? That was college life. That was school life. Now you are, you are with this man. Now you are the one that, you know, you are the one that is there. When the Oko, they went to school together, it's okay. They, their family members, their family friends, it's okay. But that is supposed to be left that way. Even if you went to wherever together with this man. And now you have a man of your life. The love of your life. He comes first. He comes first. If this is not working out, bro. Please. If you are competing with the best friend of this woman. I'm telling you. She is about to do it or she is doing it with this other man. And uh, I don't know about you. You may tell me at the comment section, how do you take it when uh, your man or your girl has a best friend of the opposite sex? For example, you are dating this girl and she has a best, best testimonial, the end of shule, best testimonial, or maybe this is a man, your husband or your boyfriend, nakona best testimonial, mke. Hmm, tuli sama na ye ye. Ata tuli 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 kwa tuna tunaishi plot moja tuli kwa tunaishi nini moja area moja si tulienda na yeye kole si juu tuli kwa secondary school moja ni beste yangu my best friend let me know about you is there anything like that that your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend are gonna beste and this beste ni wa opposite sex is there something like that eh 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 do you believe in it let me know. Najua mnataka kujua yangu. As for me, I'm writing also mine. <laughs> At the comment section, I'll tell you what I think. So guys, watch out these signs. If you're a man and this woman is mysterious, you don't understand her anymore. You don't know where she is. You don't know what time she will come back. She's not communicating. She's not telling you where she is, with who, when she will come back. And, and don't get me wrong. Women, don't get me wrong. Like, this man is controlling my life. This man is... Eh, this, no, no. It's for the best of this relationship. What if something bad happens to you and he don't know where you are? Or how to get about it? Where to get you? How to go about it? It's not about reporting. It's not about, I don't know, ana, ana nikalia. I don't know, ana, ana nisafocate. Because that is what we say. Eh? It's about valuing this other person. Prioritizing people in your life. And letting them know that you know, I belong to you. You are my man. You are my husband. You are my boyfriend. And uh, my life is like this. Let, let them be in the light. Let them be in the light. Okay? So, communication is very important. When mysterious things happen, like you cannot be able to know exactly what is happening in the life of this woman. Probably she is cheating or she's about to do it. So, watch out. I hope this has helped you somewhere, women or men. And I believe that if you are dating, if you are in a relationship and these things are happening, you will be able to go through about it 
and you are going to be able to handle it well with care and handle it with a lot of maturity and know what to do next because nobody can decide for you. No one, even me, I cannot decide for you. Even your mother, your family members cannot decide for you. Decisions comes from a personal perspective. So I pray that God will help this relationship that is watching me right now, this woman or this man. Till we meet again, this is PM and you're watching Prophetess Monica official YouTube channel. Follow me on my social media platforms at Prophetess Monica, Instagram, Facebook. And I will appreciate, if you're new here, come on, subscribe now, subscribe. If this video is of help, if you think this video can help someone, share. You can share with your friends on WhatsApp, share it on Facebook, share it anywhere. Or you can share it with your best mm -hmm, girlfriend, boyfriend. Now, tabarikiwa. Leave a comment. Let me know. What have you learned today? Let me know the question that I asked earlier. Let me know at the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. God bless you. Till we meet again, keep it safe and I love you. God bless you.